Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Eight Princes Let's Play as Soma Wei. This should be a pretty interesting episode. We're going to kick things off with a risky bit of action just outside the city of Jiangling. And if you're wondering why I say just outside the city of Jiangling, it's because we are going to be sallying forth. We've got this army over here from Ren Shen causing us a little bit of trouble. Uh, I'm a little worried about the situation at hand if I'm completely honest. I think we'd be able to hold and defend the city. It shouldn't be a problem looking at the numbers that are sort of up against each other. Um, if I'm just patient, they might destroy some of our towers. They might get some, you know, gaps in the walls and stuff. But, uh, but, 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 but I'm not patient, right? I don't think I can wait. I don't think I'm willing to wait. I think I want to dive out there, sally forth, and uh, punish Ren Shen for even thinking about putting one of my cities under siege. So, let's dive on in to kick things off with a bit of a battle. Alright, folks. Let's see what we can do. I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. that This is a... This is a scary army. There's a lot of range over here. Range is very dangerous. Our block chances aren't going to be that high. We don't have turtle formations or anything. They also have crossbows on top of that. Uh, and mounted crossbows. So it's not going to be an easy fight. But, but if we can eliminate their champion, Ren Yi, if we can eliminate him, we'll be in a better position. Kind of. Because I feel like in melee, we should be fine because we can hold them in place, get some rear charges in, Excellent. In the range situation, they will outdo us. They have a really very large range contingent. It's actually kind of scary. But we'll have to eliminate their range capabilities, and uh, we'll have to try and eliminate their champion. So what I think I'm going to do in order to pull that off is I think I'm going to actually deploy all the way back over here. We got about we got we got a bunch of trees, and actually we have a nice little avenue here for pushing through. I think I should be able to. Hmm. Okay, here's what we'll do. Cav deployed over here. Hmm, they should both be able to hide in the trees here. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. So hide them in the trees over here. Send them through. And send them through up and around, kind of like this way. Up here-ish, maybe. Where are we? Yeah, like up around here, or perhaps even get closer to like over here allow the enemy to come towards me this way and then try and separate their range and their melee and whatnot shut down their range as quickly as possible shut down their champion with our ranged uh when he's within range and then let front lines engage get some rear charges with cavalry in theory in theory that should work we'll see if it actually does go ahead and do something like that i think Okay, are these guys all hidden? Yes. Yes, they are. And let's get you guys all hidden back here. Okay, excellent. So no one is visible. Oh, you're visible. Mm. Okay. Let's see if I pull you back a little bit. If I shift you over a little bit. Come on now. There we go. So up there, everyone, everyone is hidden. You're hidden, you're hidden. You, 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 you're all hidden. Okay. Go, let's go ahead and get you guys up over here. Yeah, they're all able to hide. Good stuff. So, yeah, we will allow them to come towards us. When they get to about here-ish, I think, I'll start firing away at their champion. I, I want to get their champion first, I think. Because as soon as I start firing, all of their archers, and again, they outnumber us, all of their archers are going to start firing at us. We don't have loose formations or anything. So that's a bit of a problem. We're going to start taking damage. Um, but if we can eliminate their champ... And then if we can come in with our cavalry to shut down their archers, we should be safe. Yeah, no fire at will. Let's begin. Let's begin. Do what we can do over here. So again, I'm going to try and send you guys up through this kind of a path up here, I think. That should be safe, I think. Might be able to go even further, actually. Let's go ahead and send you all the way up to maybe here. Like that. Okay. And I wonder if I need to send somebody up to explore... Oh, whoa. That was a weird camera movement there. Perfect timing, though. It just, uh... It's almost like his appearance there triggered that. But we're okay, okay. You're still hidden there. We're still hidden over here. They're moving towards where they thought we would have deployed. 
This is good as well, because they'll get tired on their way over, hopefully. Hopefully that, uh, that fatigue will, uh, will kick in and give me a bit of an advantage. We'll see. It's actually pretty cool, like, if I do that, you can barely tell where my soldiers are. You, like, you can see these guys. You can see their flags. That cav... God damn. It's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. Alright. What are we looking at over here? Alright, you're all over there. I'm still complete- Oh, no, 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 you've seen me, you've seen me. That's not good. Hold your position. You surely must be able to hide up there. Come on now. There we go, okay, good. Good, good, okay, so that's not good, because the last thing they saw was me over there. I wonder if I should draw some aggro down here. Let's go ahead and, like, kind of... Poke out a little bit. Gotta draw their attention back down over here. There we go, we've been spotted. Are you back? Yep, that's drawn their attention. Scary little baiting maneuver there. That's crazy, actually, that they got spotted going through there. Must have been... Something else. Oh, we are eating some shots, though. These crossbows are gonna hit us for a bit until we end up hidden again. Oh, yeah, no, there's definitely a spot here where they can get spotted. That's not good. Move you up there. Go. God damn it. Hey, okay. oh, no. Ah, oh, this is not good. Come on, look back over here. Back over here, back over here. I don't know, ignore all that, ignore all this. Nothing over here. Oh, they've turned back around. Oh, goddamn, look at all those archers now firing away. Playing peekaboo with these uh, spears over here. Okay, hopefully that's convinced the people not to go chasing up that way. Look at this clump, though. I wonder if I should fire into this clump. Let's see if we can't scare these guys off. Let's do it. They're getting real close over here. Alright, we're firing away now. Oh, fair bit of damage over there before they go into loose formation. We can't just sit here and eat all these shots is the thing. Hopefully they're clumped up enough that we're still going to cause some hurt. God knows we're taking a lot of it. Hey, okay, delivering some pain. Where is their champion? He's hiding in the trees over here, isn't he? That's not good. These guys are taking a fair bit of damage, though. They might actually give up soon. Are over here at the crossbows. Good, they've given up. Oh, here we go. Where is your champion? Where is your champion? I need him exposed before I can go in. We're taking a fair bit of damage here. Form up. Firing back there. There's the champion. Just out of my range, unfortunately. Okay, here we go. Champ's about to get into my range, I think. Firing way back over here, doing a fair bit of work. Good stuff. Ran Yi, you're my target. Okay. Put out a little bit. Firing back over here. He's, I mean, he's taking damage, but very, very slowly. He's got that range block chance bump because of his buddy back there. Here they come. Sabres against Spears is a little not in my favor. Okay, good, good, good. You're being pulled in. Being pulled in. Are we able to go in? It's probably premature right now. Probably still premature. Not good. They're going to come through from the sides. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta move quick here. He's taking a lot of damage. That's good. You guys are gonna really mess us up, though. Okay, they're getting in a loose formation for some reason. They're gonna eat a charge pretty badly. He's taking a lot of damage, which is great. Just gotta hold this front line. These guys have eaten a lot of hurt as well. Okay, in we go. Good charge over here. Should do a fair bit of work. Come on now. Good charge over here as well, I should hope. Not do much up there. Gotta get up there, too. And we go over here, though. This should be good for us. Okay, good bit of work. Oh, wow. Yes, that was great, actually. He's taking a lot of hurt over here as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's push up over there. Let's push you up over here. Let's go. Okay, we're holding the line-ish. you firing up over there. Oh no. oh no, he's giving up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fire away, fire away. Good work, let's pull you back. 
charge up there. That should hurt them a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and get you over here. Get you over here. Let's go. And then we have to come back up to the front line to uh, provide some support. Let's pull you back. Why are you in melee? <laughs> Not be in melee. Okay, you're coming back over there. You, let's get you in here. Let's go. Alright, goodish stuff. Goodish, I say, specifically. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good charge, good charge. In there, in we go, in we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, they're about to give up. These guys are very close to giving up as well. Let's go ahead and pull down this way. Let's go. Rear charge into the G Militia should do us a favor. Get charge in there. Ish. Not the best. Get you firing uh, over here, maybe. Get you two moving over this way. Try and get some rear charges in of ours. Come on now. Rush down there. You're doing good. Let's push you up. I'm wondering if I want to chase some of these guys off because they do still have some ammo left. And we go over here though. This should be good. That's that. That was good. That was very good. Come on now. Okay, let's uh, pull you back out. Excellent. So let's pull you away and we'll get another charge in. You guys given up. Let's try and get behind some of these spears and swords. Get a good charge in on them. Okay, good. Charge in here. Let's go. Hurry it up. Getting some shots in there. Alright, you know what? You're out of ammo, so let's go ahead and pull you out to the side there. Get a good charge in there. Get a good charge down here. Come on, this needs to be this needs to be good. Uh that wasn't the best. It's okay, we'll pull back. We'll do this again. Get you in there. Get you ready for rear charge. Pushing through over here. Our warriors run. That's not good. Not good at all. Okay, good. Let's get you back over here. Let's go. Let's get you back in here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Get you over here to try and poke and prod a buddy here. And we'll get you guys moving in afterwards. Get you in there. Come on. Decent charge in there. Decent charge in here. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Pull you back. Send you in. All right. Pull you out of there as well. Let's go. Send you over there. Send you over there. Let's go. Keep you preoccupied. Turn around this way. Get you in from both sides. These guys are in trouble. Good stuff. You guys are in trouble too. In we go. Come on now. Cut them down. Good stuff. Good stuff. And now we need to come back over here. Quickly. Oh, buddy's angry. Fallen relative. Send you up that way. These guys are surrounded. That's good. Come on now. Spread out. Gotta get some charges in here. Send you in first. Send you over. And we come from behind and... Okay, some work done. Not the best. Pull you out of there. Oh yeah, you know what? That was good enough. That's all that matters. That was good enough. They are not having a good time. Okay, pushing for a charge here. Pull you away. You're in some trouble here. In fact, let's... Oh, they're out of ammo. Excellent. Pull you both out. Get out of there. How are we feeling over here? Not that great. This is okay as well. Charge him. Our warriors run. No, no, no. You need to hold the line and fight here. Very close to coming out on top. These guys are shaking. We can get them to break. Wavering. Come on now. Give up. Give up on the damn fight. He's running away, being chased by these spear guard. Excellent. Hey, okay, good stuff. These guys have given up. Just got to spread out over here. Get some good rear charges here. These guys are in trouble. They're shaking, losing currently, so that's good. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Some good charges, some good charges. And we're taking some damage on those charges. Not surprised. Did, did we do enough? Let's pull back. Good, they're giving up. Let's pull you back. Spread out, spread out. But, oh no, we're starting to give up over there. That's not good. That's not good. Send you over this way. Keep you over here. Going for this rear charge over here. Maybe chase these guys out. Okay, and we go with the rear charge over here. You are rushing your way over. Yes. This is close. Okay, turn you around. Pull you back out. So, so far to go. It feels so far away. Feels so far away. 
Oh, turn you around this way. Let's go. Come on. Good charge over there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a great charge. That was a solid charge. Pull away, pull away. You guys, stay in there. Okay, good stuff. Get out of there. Get to charge in. Come on, he's a strategist. The mere strategist. Charge over here, I hope. My god, the fallen relative and stuff is really helping him out. Get you set up over here. Get you guys coming over here. We've done so well. Okay, let's go. You guys up over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. A good rear charge over here will do a lot of work. A good charge over here as well will do a lot of work. Oh, we cannot... What are you running away from? <laughs> I need you. Keep you going, keep you going. Let's go. Can we go with a charge over here? Kind of. Turn around, charge over here. Oh, we can't give up. Hey, good charges over here. These guys should break. Wavering. All oh, these guys are back. Okay, let's pull through. Let's pull through. You moving. Charge down that way. Let's go. Nope, they stopped right on time. Pull away, pull away, pull away. Oh, no, no, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. We still caused some damage there. Pull away. Down over here. Get you going up over there. Get you out of there. Let's get you back in here, come on. Get you back in here as well. Bring you over. How are we feeling? Going pretty good-ish. A good charge here should get these guys to shatter completely, hopefully. An eye out on it. Charge up there, charge up there. Pull you down this way, let's go. We're so close. Balance is tipping. Down here. Get you up over here. Get a rear charge over here, hopefully. You in there, let's go. Come on. Give me a good charge. Oh, not that great. We got this cavalry unit coming up over this way. Come on, get you up in here. Push you in, let's go. Do not surrender. Do not surrender. In we go. Okay, good bit of hurt over there. These guys are wavering. So very close. Back in there. Back in there. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We're coming for another charge. How are we doing over here? Ah, we've given up as well. Okay, these guys are about to give up, I think. Come on, come on, come on. Pull back and we can get another charge in, perhaps. Come on. In we go. In we go. Good charge. They're wavering. Taking a fair bit of damage over here. Yes. They're dropping the- Yes! Okay, excellent. Excellent. Pull back. You on him? Let's pull you back. Get you in there. We might actually have- We might actually have flung them back. Come on, let's go. To charge in on him. It's all a matter of a couple of charges here. There we go, wavering. You guys are back in on the fight. Need you to. Yes, excellent. He's given up. Send you down there. Just eight of them left. Just eight of them left. Pull you guys out. Come on, get in there. Get to the sides here. Try and get a rear charge. Hopefully he won't come back into the fight. Five of them left. But a charge from them is going to be devastating. Let's push in over here. Try and get these guys to break. That's the smallest of charges right now. Yes! There we go. They're routing. Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Victory goes ever closer. We have our victory. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to chase Ren Shen down over here. See what we can do. See what we can do. Because this army... Is still a threatening army. I mean, yes, we've caused it some hurt, but we have not destroyed it. You know what? Ren Shen's gonna get away. Let's try and pick out some of these spear guards and stuff. Dear lord. I can't believe these guys gave up on the fight. Ah. Yeah, let's pick up the pace here a little bit.
Uh, only five minutes left in the battle, actually. So one way or another. If I, I was either surviving or uh, getting enough damage out. And I guess we got enough damage out, so that's good. Trying to eliminate this unit over here. At the very least, this has bought us some more time to get reinforcements here. These guys are taking a beating. Good stuff. Can we get up to there in time? I don't think so. They're all the way at this corner over here. I mean, they've still got a fair distance to cover. But we might be able to get, get to them before uh, they get out. Because this unit's been taken care of. It's just seven of them left. They're not going to do much. They're not going to do much. These guys, though, shattered. They're making their way out. I think they'll probably make it. Yeah, they're probably going to make it. As fast as our cavalry is. That's a huge gap. Damn. Fine. Let's claim that victory. A Peric victory. Not surprised. Not surprised. We outnumber them with what's left of us versus what's left of them. We outnumber them. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> My god, 157 kills on you. Okay. Okay. Murdered him. That's good. Killed a fair number of their troops. Eliminated a fair number of their troops. Go ahead and take that replenishment, I guess. And sent them packing. Yes. Okay. Okay, I don't know if they'll give me the time I need to replenish. Go ahead and repair all of these. And what I could do... Now, some of you were suggesting... Um, I don't think I addressed this earlier. Some of you were suggest suggesting raising an army uh, here because we knew it was coming. Now, I didn't want to do that when it was the quote-unquote premonition that we had because that just felt kind of... I, I was making a decision because the game broke, right? Nah, I don't like that. Uh, what I wanted to do was fight that fight, win that fight, we've won that fight, yay. Uh, we still have some way over here making his way through the, um, you know, fishing ports and stuff. And I find it hilarious uh, that you guys, some of you guys were like, yeah, we've, we've been getting so many wooden fish as accessories. We should use that as an omen that we should go chasing after these fishing ports. So fair enough. I guess that's what we're doing. Um, oh, hello. I guess we're a lot closer to Soma Yan than I initially thought we were. Damn. All these enemies are awfully close. Um, anyway, back on topic. Now that we've flung them back, though, now I feel comfortable with raising another army over here to actually sustain and defend uh, the army. What scares me, what worries me, is if they make their way towards the toolmaker, I'll be in trouble. So I should probably get a bit of a garrison going over here, right? Um, just because a small garrison will be able to eliminate this army with the towers and everything, right? Even a small garrison will be able to eliminate the army. So we can go ahead and upgrade this for 1500 Leaves us with very little money left. We can raise an army at the city as well now. Um, Liu Shen, for example. What, okay, what, what do we not have in this garrison? A lot. We, we don't have a lot. <laughs> We're repairing this now, so it's not like I can stack the upgrades or anything. Let's see. If I can get a cavalry commander, I think I'd be happy. Like, if I can get uh, Tian Yan, he has this lack of purpose, so I could maybe give him some purpose by giving him an army, right? And he'll have a couple of shock cav. It'll take some time for them to actually replenish to full strength, but he'll be on horseback. His units will be on horseback. Uh, there's Tian Hen as well. The damn sight more expensive, but he's also rank 4. Mm, let's go with uh, Tian Yan. I think that'd be the right call. Again, it's a temporary recruit for uh, the current circumstances. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Right. We will get you in here. Now, here's the thing. I can either recruit more units. Why are you still upset? How do you still have a lack of purpose? I just gave you an army. Give him the fish to make him at least at 20. Could give him a gift as well. He's not going to leave next turn, but... He might leave soon. That worries me. Low reserves are making him unhappy as well. Okay. Hopefully that'll 
fixed soon. So here's the thing. I can either... No, actually, I can't afford to rush this. So perhaps I should just recruit more units into his... Uh, whoops, whoops. Army. I really want more cataphracts on the field. Uh, let's see. The Raider Cav... What I like about the Mounted Saber Militia is that they have their shields as well. They're very good at charging down range units, but Shock Cavalry, like, the, the bump in charge bonus, in melee charge bonus, is huge. They're a bit pricier, though. I can only get one of either. Go with you, let's keep it consistent. Right. So that should be good. This 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 is a bit more defendable now. And as we wait, I, I could guarantee that Ren Shen is actually going to make his way back home now. Because he's not in a position to keep fighting with this pitiful army. He's not gonna get replenishment. Two turns, sure he'll get some more units out of here, but not gonna be enough. The city is defendable, I think, even with what we have left. Hopefully we'll get a turn of replenishment in before they decide to, you know, get smart, so to speak, again. Uh so hopefully we'll, we're fine. And then this, again, we can't rush it, but he's going to take three to four turns to get up here. So next turn we can do that, and uh, we have enough money for that, so that's fine. Next turn also, I think we're able to hit the uh, lumber yard at Lujiang to make some more money. And the uh, the Din Empire is about to destroy the fishing port at Sindu. What what, what other holdings does Ren Shen have? Oh, back over here, I guess. Oh, this is Surma Yen. Is the fishing port all you have, man? Ugh. He doesn't sound ridiculous. No, hold on a second. We just defeated them in battle. Why would I do that? What I would do, though, is try and get another trade agreement. We have two out of three. Who would give us the most money? Sama Ying. Thing is, though, I wouldn't mind going to fight Sama Ying soon. Sama... From a Jong is far away, so that would last longer than a trade agreement with Shoma Ying, and the difference is only what, 22. So let's see, and ultimately we have to see who's cheaper, right? So you negotiate the deal here. I'll make this work. You want 152 for 10 turns. I mean, I'm a net positive with that. What if I give you ancillaries no nothing there some fish god damn give him the fish sure good bit of money coming in good bit of money coming in from that excellent so let's go ahead and end the turn there because I believe I've done all the moves I can do Next turn, we move in, we take the uh, Lumber Yard, and hopefully, hopefully we're fine over here. I am tempted to give this guy a gift, but maybe we'll wait until next turn for that. Okay, still can't believe I got this Iron Mine, damn. I should trade fish for more cities. <laughs> for more uh, cities, yeah. This is a thick llama. Alright, that's the turn. Let's see what the enemy does. I think we've got a skill point available there, a skill point available here, and a little bit of dissatisfaction over here. I want to make sure it wasn't anything game-breaking, anything that would ruin my life. Looks like we're okay. Okay, let's see what they do. Very nervous. Very, very nervous that they're going to come back right away without me getting a chance to replenish. Ooh, they want me to join against Surma Lun, and they will pay me a hefty, hefty sum. Okay, where is Surma Lun? They're up over here. So they could use the river to come at me. That's a lot of money, though. That is a lot of money. I could raise a proper second army. Now, I can reject this, right? I don't have to say yes. Uh, I don't have to say yes at all. I wonder if... Let's see. I wonder if, rather than that, I could get territory off of them. Like there is what? The toolmaker? Down over here? Never. 
of course. I mean, this doesn't sound like such a bad idea. My only concern is that they might have some big army stacks that'll come through the river down towards me. But we've got a friendly army up over here that should keep them at bay. I mean, it's a little scary. Because I'd be exposed at the trade port at Luoyang. I don't need the money that badly. You know what? I think I'm going to reject. Ah, it feels bad because he's, he's supported me in all my wars. Or rather, I should say they've supported me in all mine. But they are a protective uh, type of individual. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to reject it, folks. It's a nice sum of cash, but what's money worth if you're dead, right? I'm going to reject it. Yeah. No, you, you, you didn't withdraw it. I rejected it. It's very different. Oh. Ban Duenting wants to join. But the Jin Empire is not interested. Tough. Yeah, I'll go ahead and remember it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. That looks like we're okay overall. Ren Shen, you are... Did they come right back down again? Can't tell. Looks like they did. No, they did not. Okay. Uh, coalition has grown over here. That's not so good for me. Peace treaty over here. More peace. New wars. Okay. All right. Looks like he's taken back to the waters to get the hell out of here. Smart move, I would say. Smart move. Uh, up over here, what's happened? Taken the fishing port over there, or at least our allies have, I suppose. Go ahead and send ourselves down towards this lumber yard. There's a copper mine. I want to get to that copper mine. I want to get to that copper mine. So let's go ahead and give you a coordination target of... Hmm. I want all the copper mines. Send you down over there. That would allow me to take the lumber yard, the copper mine, the fishing port, the iron mine, maybe the small city as well. We can we can be very busy over here. We can be kept very busy over here. And I do have enough money for a proper second army. Right, like how much does this one cost? This one costs me 2500 so, you know, if I don't have the trebuchet and so many uh, two infantry and stuff, I could actually have a proper second army. His lack of purpose is reducing. I guess he is happy that he's got uh, this proper position here. Do that family spear as well. Up your instinct a little bit. Alright, just trying to figure this out. Hmm. Because this army can move now. Um, if these guys are not threatening me, and I got a turn of replenishment in over here... Actually, maybe that's risking it a little bit. But we will, I think, recruit. Because if we're going to stay put anyway, we might as well take advantage of the recruitment bump, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves... Who? Liu Shen. Might not be a bad idea. Replace some of your units, though. Don't really like that composition. Noma Yang... Is currently on assignment, okay. Decent retinue. Decent retinue. Uh, Liu Shen is for sure one of our picks. And uh, Guan Yu Shen as well. She's a strategist. So Mai Yang is busy right now. So Liu Shen we can get right now. Mm. At least it's melee, right? We can swap some of these units out immediately. I think we will do. Level 1, though, and Chi Hua is also level 1. Okay, Lu Shen. Get you out here, right? What's wrong with you? Oh, you can join us, too. Lu Shen. Confirm that. Swap some of these out, please. For medium spear guard. See, like, two infantry and stuff, they cost, like, 200 plus. So we can afford the second army. I think a little pricey to get this swapping and stuff happening. Wondering if, uh... Just momentarily, if I want to raise taxes just a little bit. Just for, like, a turn, right? Like, let's take a look at this. No issues, actually. Everyone's happy. All my public order is positive. I pump it up by a step. We get a little bit of negative. Not the end of the world, though. 
But from a financial perspective, it helps us a lot. If we pop it up by two, everybody's negative, but we've got so much positivity, I think we can do that for a couple of turns. Bleed them dry, you know? Bleed them dry. I gotta make sure I don't get my mind alignment too high. That satisfaction reduction would not be nice. Unless I can get it all the way, I guess. Alright, uh, let's see. The next turn, we're gonna get a fair chunk of change. We're gonna keep recruiting into the second army. We will then have two armies. One which will help us deal with this, and a second one that will be there just in case another war breaks out, or if we get called into a war like we just did and had to reject. I rather would have I would have rather not rejected it, but we were not in a position to fight that. Uh and as as much as I'd like to, you know. As much as even So Ma Wei would like to get into another war, he's not stupid, right? Nowhere here does it say stupid. Yeah, there you go. I mean, okay, it does say reckless, but not stupid. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get you into Luzhang. Should be an easy victory. Might actually be able to auto-resolve it. As long as it's low and decisive. Yep, go ahead and delegate that one. No need to fight it. Make it quick. Spend a turn replenishing. Should be enough. Wow, we lost over 600. That's a little unacceptable. Made a touch of cash. I don't think I want to loot and occupy. It's not enough money to make a difference, you know what I mean? So let's just occupy it. Good stuff. And I can, I think as a result of that, swap you out. Cool. Cool. We'll swap out the, uh, the axe bands as well, I think. And our final recruit here, not that I need to do it right away, but our final recruit is going to be uh, Guan Yushen. Now, she doesn't like Tian Yan. Fair enough. She'll learn to like him. There was a suggestion for a combination that we can make in the comments. But I don't think we can make it just yet. I, I believe the suggestion was for uh, making the fortress, giving Liu Shen the uh, G of Heavenly Mandate, I think, as well as something else, but we don't have the other thing. That would give us the Fortress. I believe that was a re uh, recommendation. I, 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 It slips my mind now, so I apologize. Uh, but actually, on that note, I should mention that uh, if you guys have been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, please do not hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel. Uh, it affects what I do more or less of and what I do within the episodes as well. I love reading all the comments, and uh, it's just it's a nice way for me to kind of like, yeah, you know, see what you guys are thinking, see what you guys are saying. So uh, do keep them coming, and uh, do let me know, of course, again, that you want to see this show continue, because it's all about what you guys want to see, obviously. I believe that's our turn, though, so let's go ahead and hit that end turn button now. Uh, next turn, we... Well, next turn, we can only take to the river. I would like to take that copper mine before they do. That's the thing, right? Like, the copper mines are very helpful. And if I can go Poyang, 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 Lujiang, then we'll have all of this, and eventually we'll deal with Shima Ai and the uh, and Tangsa as well, which is a bit of a breadbasket. Not literally, financially, metaphorically. What's the deal here? What's the deal? Nothing too crazy just yet. I am glad I joined forces with the Jin Empire. They are big. Oh, hello. Okay, Ren Shen wants peace and will give us a ton of money. That's not going to fly. Money's not all I want here. I desire your copper mine. Nope. You'll want something in return if I take the copper mine. So I'll just take the copper mine by force. This deal is not good enough. Learn how to negotiate. Learn how diplomacy works, buddy. Greed is an ugly trait. I mean, I was... It was... He called me out. I was 100% being greedy. I got called out there. <laughs> The computer could read my mind and knew exactly what I was thinking. Knew exactly what I was thinking. Alright, what's up? Got a peace treaty over here. More peace. I don't like when other people sign peace. Oh no, a friend in need. You hear a tale of boundless courage in your ranks. One of your generals rides bravely to the aid of his friend, who is moments away from death's cold touch, weathering many blows to defend their comrade. In the aftermath, you take stock of what you have heard and seen. The Gongsun Hong has been injured. But Xi Ju and Gong Sung Hong have deepened the relationship. I don't like that. I don't like that. 
the hell? How long will it actually take me to get to... Oh yeah, in two turns. Don't you dare do it. That is mine. Better be headed up this way. I think so. I think I told him to go towards Shindu, didn't I? Yeah. So that looks like what they're doing. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So I can move towards that copper mine still. Now, what's this? Wounds and deaths. That's this Gong Sun Hong being wounded. Traits gained. He's maimed. Man, this is just kind of really stacked against me. Now, granted, he doesn't get used in melee much, but like two of my characters have been maimed without any of my own control. Both sworn though, Gong Sun Hong and Shi Shi Zhu, I think is how that's pronounced. So that's fine, you've mobilized, good stuff, and still regained. Oh nice, it's not a wooden fish. Maybe it's a wooden fish in disguise. Now we've got one administrator. Might as well assign that to her. Request aid. Ah. No, let's see. Um, here, you... What do you got? You got this. Oh, we already get plus 10% income from industry, so why would I swap you out? I wouldn't. Okay. What else have we got here? Um, that's that. Everything else is fine. Alright, uh, lots of money in the bank. We could swap some of these guys out, or we can keep some axe band and recruit some more spears. Right, we can do that. And our last slot is going to be our strategist, but... Do I rush that? I don't think I rush that. Well, getting her out here is free. Oh, so sure, I can do that. Well. Mm, yeah, sure. Let's do this. We'll put you in charge. Or we can get some interesting things here, I believe. Oh, man. Passion. Trying to take a look around over here. Because Reach is the one I was thinking about. Um, kind, concerned, kind-hearted. This guy's like the antithesis of Soma Wei. Uh, no, you know what? Guan Yuxian, I think, is going to be in charge. She's wise, lumbering. That's hilarious. She doesn't look like someone who would lumber. Uh, but let's put you in charge. Appoint Commanding General. Go ahead and get you... Some archers. Definitely want to get some trebuchet. Right? Eventually, though. Not a rush. Let's reduce our tax rate to a normal amount. And see what we can actually afford. Mm. Guys are a bit safer off. Ranged attack rate is a little bit higher. They're a lot pricier, though. Not much pricier to maintain, but a lot pricier to get. Worth it, though, I think. One variant? Nah. We'll leave it be. In fact, let's get rid of you. I want to try and make... A little bit more money. What's our public order looking like? We're going to be dipping, but no one's in like the danger zone, so to speak. So we'll do that for one more turn, and then next turn, I'm going to invest in... Well, might as well get this. And next turn, I'm going to invest in some structures, some buildings that should help us make some more money. You're going to be done upgrading soon, so that's good. That'll help our income a little bit. Uh, hmm. I do need to invest a bit more in our in our wealth. The copper mine's going to help out as well once we get this. What's the garrison here? Ah, it's a pretty hefty garrison. But we'll be fine. Don't need to force march. Regular march command here. Okay, good stuff. The next turn we take Poyang. This I don't like. Now you are suffering. But you might be on your way... Hmm... A livestock farm here, your garrison is not that great. You would take two turns to get to the livestock farm, we would take one turn to get to it. So fine, we can screen this army if it tries to get too adventurous. For now though, we stay put to try and fill up the uh, the ranks there. Okay, cool. That's the turn then. Sorry, that was a bit of a slower turn, I think. I was just mulling over my options. 
mulling over my threats. God damn it! They took the copper mine. They took the damn copper mine. I told them specifically not to. Now what are you doing? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, another peace treaty over here. Wars. Regency going down. Peace treaties. More peace treaties. More peace. Other coalitions forming up. Yitang and Li Yilanyan. I'm not sure where they were. Oh wow, okay, they got destroyed. A question of rank, oh no. The Ministry of Education has submitted their final review of the nine rank allocations. Upsettingly, one of your retainer's clients has received a lower rank than they expected. Oh, your retainer asks that you correct this obvious mistake if they are able. They also offer, of course, to cover any necessary costs. This is corruption. <laughs> this is corruption, damn it. Qi Xing. Qi Xing. How, how, what's your satisfaction? See, I wish I could see like like i'm not blind right their satisfaction is not on screen right now yes correct and i can't see it don't know if i can risk that 10 turns of reduced satisfaction plus five wealth alignment isn't enough to tip tip us over and like the corruption will probably take away more than a thousand Right, so this is small-term gains, but we'll lose it all basically right away. I think we'll trust the system. Move towards the spirit alignment. Which I don't really care for, I suppose. But. But, no, no, no. We trust the system here. A military commander has to have systems in place, and you have to you have to follow them. Otherwise, what's the point? We have a system for this sort of thing, so you decide to let things work themselves out via the proper channels. Absolutely. Cause me trouble over here. All right. Um. You know what? Let's go ahead and get our taxes down to normal. That way, our public order should yep start normalizing again. This is good. It's good having positive public order. It's a little bit of a foreign concept to me. I'm completely honest. I'm not used to this feeling, but I'm glad I'm feeling it. <laughs> Uh, the toolmaker's been done for a bit. We are making over a thousand, which is good and helpful. I'm wondering if I want to up this. Increase the income there. The jade mine has completed as well. So that's going to make us, or that's been making us a little bit extra money. Got a good garrison up there. We have another jade mine over here, but I believe it is already upgraded. I need to take a look at some of these. Uh, saving up for some of these bigger options. Some big bumps to be had there. We've got the trade port over here as well, but you... I don't think we have the tech we need for this upgrade. This isn't the biggest upgrade either, to be perfectly honest. Down over here, I'm really annoyed about this copper mine. I'm... God damn, I was right there. It's fine. Not the end of the world. We're able to skip past it, move towards the small city down over here. You know what? These guys are actually... The more we take, the more uh, we expose ourselves to enemies that declared war a long time ago. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to actually pull back through the river. Or if I want to take the city. Expose myself to Surma T over here. Hmm. Now this army... Do we wait one more turn? Come on now. Suppose we could wait one more turn. Let it top up. These guys have decided to make their way back in. I don't know where to, but sure, be my guest. Uh, let's see. Toolmaker, you, we can't upgrade. We don't have enough money. That's a huge bump in income, though. A, a, a hundred is a you know big enough bump in income, I think, worth waiting for. City back over here. I don't think we need to upgrade you. You... We're okay here for public order. It'll start becoming a problem eventually. At which point I think I'll get rid of this, which is negative 8 for public order. So we can keep it for now because it does give us income. Sure. Sure. Yeah, we can't afford anything. I think I need to wait another turn before I try to build anything. Because that unlocks some of the bigger steps that we want to take. 
So in that case, you, let's decide where to send you. Well, it'll be a rush order. I guess the iron mine is a good priority, but... God damn. Healing my towns. Let's rush down here. Take the city first. Close ourselves a little bit over here, but... You do what you gotta, I guess. This is a small city with a small garrison. We can take it on relatively easily, I think. And there have been some suggestions in the comments for how I might want to try different methods to try with our with our sieges. This army, I guess, is at an okay spot. You know what I could do is I could recruit one more unit of medium bow infantry. One more unit in there. Not doing the trebuchet yet because of those... The, uh, the... Maintenance costs, basically. Too high. I don't want to invest in that. Um... Because I'm not planning on using this army offensively just yet. At least not for any, you know, city battles or anything. So until we get our economy in place with some more upgrades, which again, like, you know what, actually... I'm just so not used to seeing all this green, like, it's just... It's like, nah, it should be red. It's supposed to be red. These guys are a little less happy. Or, like, like, this is... Tough. I, I see public order as an expendable... Item, I suppose. You know what? One more turn. Like this. One more turn. Let's get ourselves above that 3k mark so we can build some fancier buildings. And then we'll reduce the taxes. That should be fine. I hope. Now, where did this army go? Did they move up towards this town? Or the iron mine? The iron mine can defend itself. The town cannot. We'll have to find out. They might have pulled back to here, I guess, to replenish. Find out. Okay. Like, nothing too crazy yet. We're okay up there. Ooh. Non-aggression pact with Shema Ying Ning. Where are you? Let's let's negotiate this. The bit in their favor. Shema Ying Ning. Shema Ying Ning. Come on, Ying, Ning. Nope, can't find him. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything I want? Not really. This is not enough of a gap for money or anything. Right, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's like pointless. I might just sign the non-aggression pack with him. It doesn't hurt, right? We'll accept. Rational thought elevates the spirit. Don't talk to me about rational thought. I'm a warrior. <laughs> Ooh. The Din Empire wants me to join them against... Xiang... Xiangli. Okay, where... Seeing who will be upset. Xiang Xiangli, where are you? Ooh, up over here. See, now this is a war that I do want to be a part of. But I am very far away right now. The attitude is positive. It's trending downwards. I don't like that. You know what? We're out of position right now. Which is really unfortunate. I'd have to abandon this army and re-recruit the entire retinue up north over here. Because otherwise it'll take us like what? It'll probably take us like... Six or so turns to get up to here. By then, they might actually cause us damage. And if they take any of our territory and the Jin Empire follows them and takes that territory back for themselves, I might actually lose the uh, horse pastures as well as the, uh, what is this, a uh, lumberyard? No, farmland over here, right? Like, I, I stand to lose by joining this war. So I'm going to reject this, actually, again. they Apparently, they won't be too upset. Yeah, they're not going to be too upset about it. So that's good. Weird that they're happy with me rejecting it. Wait. What? Okay, that's just them declaring war. Yeah, okay. Ooh, another military alliance is formed. I don't like that. Peace treaties. Oh, that's not good. So they declared the war, I see. It was Xiang Xiangli and Sir Madi, I think. 
Yep. And Xu Yan. So all of these guys. So you know what? I might join eventually once I deal with this nonsense down south over here. Ooh. Faction developments. Battlefield medicine. For those who fall in the service of their lord, the battlefield need not be their grave. The work of the renowned Hua Tuo produced myriad poultices and methods, like acupuncture, to aid recovery for both the common man and warrior alike. New year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. I did not know that acupuncture was from this era. Pretty cool. An opportunity arises. Ooh. You are known for your pragmatism, no matter the odds, and it is in this spirit that one of your household comes forward. They admit to a correspondence with the traitor Sir Maliang, treason upon treason. However, they offer you their services. You know that honor dictates they be arrested, yet their connections may prove useful to you. But turn them over, helps me with my spirit alignment, gives us some prestige and diplomatic relations, uh, and it puts me in favor, helps my prestige, helps with income, okay, dissatisfaction for five turns, negative ten satisfaction, or I keep their secret, gives me mind alignment. I kind of don't want the next stage of Ah, uh, okay, well, here's... Okay, hmm. What would Somawe do? What would Somawe do? See, part of me... The part of my character, right? Wants to overthrow the Jin Empire. Right now, our alliance is one of convenience. Uh, our, even our introduction was like, eventually, we want to overthrow her. Uh, overthrow the Empress. But perhaps we'll keep their secret. Perhaps we'll keep their secret. Because they might be useful to us, right? So fine, we'll let them be. One of my household. That's what I should care for first. For, for the... For the goodness of China, of course. Keep their secret. So long as they're useful, they shall have safe harbor with you. Use their connections to keep their secrets safe. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, what do we do over here? What are you doing, man? You're just kind of like rummaging through my lands. Roving through my lands. You're not ravaging my lands, that's for sure. Down over here, we're able to take the small city of Poyang. Kind of have some regrets of being caught out of position, though. Uh, I do wonder if I should take peace with you. You've only got these two things. Okay, Shumati. Can we have peace? We can. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Because then what I might want to do is take the small city, get peace with Shumati, go up here, take the iron mine, make some money off of that, very helpful, right? Take the fishing port over here, and at the same time, destroy this army at the same turn. So in the next couple turns, we will have finished our war to the south over here. Then we can actually take the river up to here, move up, and attack Shuma Di, Xu Yan, Xiang, Xiang Li. I think we might actually need to help the Din Empire up over here, because they're fighting a 3v1. Now, granted, they have three whole armies. One, two, three full stacks, four full stacks in the area. Oh my god, they're terrifying. They're terrifying. But it's okay. It's okay. See, we got 3k now. We can reduce our taxes back to normal. Make 1k a turn. Uh, go ahead and build something or the other. Just trying to figure out what I should build to bump my income the right way. I need to find those perfect investments. You know, like this is probably a good call. A nice 100 point, uh, like 100 gold bump. But then you also take into effect the 5% income bump as well. I mean, that's not a lot on its own. Um, okay, okay, something to think about. Corruption is starting to become a bit of a problem. Okay, just got to figure this out. I need to plan how I'm going to invest this money. Because now is a... I think this is a bit of a turning point situation. It's a bit of a turning point situation. Like here, we would get what? From 110, it becomes 150. So that's 40 plus 25. That's 65. 65. I don't need you. Oh, I guess I wanted to get up to here, right? So I don't want to destroy it for no good reason. I mean, right now it seems like the uh, toolmaker upgrade is the right way to go. As one thing, for sure. And obviously these battles will make us some money as well. So we can invest more. Like, I say this is a turning point right now because we need to get our economy into a spot 
where we can sustain at least two full stacks. This is not a, neither of my armies are full stacks, just as a reminder. They're not full stacks, I've just been winning because, like, I've been succeeding on the battlefield because of, you know, good use of cavalry, good use of trebuchet, that kind of stuff. Uh, but on a, on a pure numbers basis, it, it's not favor me. That means I'm more easily cornered and put into a rough spot. The other thing I need to consider is like, yeah, the war over here has broken out, and I'm not a part of it right now, but... You know, eventually I might be dragged into it. So my Ying over here as well grows ever more powerful. There's some alliances forming that I need to be wary of as well. There's a lot for me to plot out. But for now, for now, we dive on into the small city of Poyang. And do to it what Ren Shen could not do to me. Next time. Because we are at that hour mark. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to call it a session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment. Let me know you would like to see more Total War 3 Kingdoms 8 Princes Snow My Way gameplay on this channel. A massive thanks as always goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.